Strongly. I was that Karen. I was I was a Karen. I was yeah. a Karen who basically said, but what about All Lives Matter? Stassi Schroeder speaks out for the first time since she was fired from Vanderpump Rules. People expected me to just understand everything immediately and things like that take time. And I felt like it would be better for me to take the time to get a greater understanding of everything and the issues mm -hmm. before I opened my mouth. Bravo cut ties with the reality star back in June after some past racially insensitive remarks resurfaced amid the Black Lives Matter protests. And on Thursday, she opened up about the whole thing on the Tamron Hall Show, revealing it's been tough knowing that people think of her as a racist. That has been the hardest part of all it of this. It should be. That it is, that be. is, that is absolutely the hardest part. Just going out to a restaurant or going to the grocery store and wondering if that's what people think. I don't have hate in my heart, but I've recognized that I, I wasn't anti-racist. I wasn't, and that's something I've been learning throughout all of this. The network's decision to fire the 32-year-old also came just days after former SIR staffer Faith Stowers revealed during an Insta Live that Stassi and Kristen Doty attempted to report her to the police for a crime she didn't commit in 2018. Let me ask you this, how did you feel when you heard, when you first heard Stassi saying on that podcast the things that her and Kristen had done and the fact that they mm -hmm. tried to get you arrested? for something you did not do. They were trying to pretty much destroy me, um, especially dealing with the cops, because I I have a, I have kind of a fear for the, of, of, of police um, enforcement because of all the things that's happening. Jack's car went missing out of his home. They said that I was the person that went into his home and did Grand Theft Auto. Like, I, I went and broke into his home and stole his car, so. They said so much that it, it was it was hard to take in, and I was really numb at that moment because it was so it sounded like a movie, mm -hmm. um, a really bad movie. While both Stassi and Kristen publicly apologized to Faith, Bravo opted not to bring them back for season nine. I, I think it's it's sad, really, what happened because I do think that people can learn from their mistakes. And I'm all about that. When E.T. caught up with Lisa Vanderpump in August, she said she would have given Stassi and Kristen a second chance. Of course, we do know that we're in this, you know, momentum of really people kind of standing up for what's right. And I'm all about that and embracing that. And I do believe in zero tolerance for that. But I also believe that you can come back from that and you're young and you can learn from it. Yeah. Up to me, I would like to see them, you know, go on. But, but really have a better understanding of, of where they went wrong. But I understand why Bravo did it. It was, it was totally inappropriate. Stasi's co-star Katie Maloney also opened up to ET just last week about how her friends were handling it all. Imagine being on a show for almost a decade and then it's just done. So I mean, yeah, it was, it was, it was hard for a while, but I think they're just trying to focus on you know, the future and what that looks like for them and trying to stay positive and not look back. They're taking it in stride and definitely, you know, holding themselves accountable. The future of the show is currently in limbo in the wake of the firings. Any chance you'll return to Vanderpump Rules? No, I think that that, it, that ship has sailed. Stasi actually explained how she's holding herself accountable, meeting with a diversity coach on Zoom once a week. And Stasi, who is five months pregnant with her first child with her fiance, Bo Clark, says she wants to be better for her daughter. I want to be a better person. I'm pregnant and I want my daughter to be proud of me. And I, I want to be a part of the solution. I've been a part of the problem for years now. Mm. And I, I've recognized that. And that's why I say I don't feel like I'm a victim of cancel culture. People want me to be mad at it, and I'm not. I needed it. I needed that.